Hope everybody's having a good day today. Um, sorry I hadn't made videos in a while. I've been busy with work uh, throughout the late summer and then into the fall and then it just pretty much got busy with uh, holidays and things like that and uh, then it got really cold and it's been pretty much uh, no work for the past month. Uh, well, not pretty much, no work for the last month. So um, anyway, that's just how my work does because of the way I'm seasonal. And I just hadn't made any videos. I thought I'd start back doing that. Um, we're actually about to go camping, me and my dad, to try out our tents that we got for Christmas. So uh, I'll show you those when we get them uh, put up. But anyway, uh, the thing I was gonna show you here before we left was we just had to kill off several of our crepe myrtles. Um, this one here goes right there at that stump. And you can tell it's been there 23 years, however long we've been at the house here. Huge, there's my foot. I really hate cutting those down, but we have no choice apparently because we've got squirrels crawling all over the roof and getting in the soffit. And uh, so we had to cut this one down as well. Pretty much just as big as the other one was. And we've also had to cut another one on the other side of the house here um, at the very corner. Uh, you obviously can't tell it was even there from here, uh, but it was, again, uh, as big on the bottom as these are, if not even, they might have been a little bigger, uh, but they were definitely probably about twice as tall. So uh, we really um, not liked, or I hadn't liked cutting them, but my dad said that he didn't want the damage to be worse. So we cut them down this morning, or well, about 30 minutes ago, something like that. And uh, now we're gonna go camping. So I'm gonna go get my stuff together and uh, head out. right here I just did a time-lapse of it or well I just videoed it I'll speed it up my dad's is over here my dad's over here uh, we got the same exact tent it's a mountain hardware as you can see um, it's the tangent 2 I believe yeah tangent 2 it's uh, been discontinued or there's a new version of it but we got this one uh, on sale both of them for Christmas um, that's what we wanted so that uh, we wouldn't have the old walrus tent that we've had for 20 years. Um, so these should last us that long or longer still. So uh, we didn't skimp on quality. Um, Rosie's having fun in the pine needles there. Um, I've got her a little bed sitting in here. She is gonna sleep with me tonight. There's her little blue mat there and then my little pad. That's a thermarest. But we don't really like it. We've used different ones in the past. We usually, or well, for a long time, we were using a uh, foam one. Um, it just had little prickly things on it, just kind of to support you. Um, and that thing was probably better than these. And the one I got, I think, was 80 bucks. And then my dad got the bigger one. It was like 100 or 120, I don't know. Um, but we're not real happy with them. Uh, they just don't seem to do uh, as good a job for the extra money so uh anyway we was about to start the uh, fire here i've uh, already got some old wood here from the other day when we were camping uh, it's probably been three months ago um but we'll just go straight back with um the same spot because it was a little hole there it's just a perfect place to have a campfire just because it's uh you know water will dump into it and nothing will you know roll off or anything um, we got a bunch of wood here and uh, a little cooking stove that I made in high school. We'll use that to uh, put our pan on. And actually, we may end up uh, not even using it because we'll probably want to put our uh, cast iron skillet close to the coals. So uh, that'll be for the morning, though. Uh, as far as tonight, we'll uh, use that probably just as a 
way to set our stuff on and uh, like a table or whatever and we're going to just do freeze dried stuff so uh, we'll do an update with that one uh, I think it's Mountain House I believe is what it's called but anyway we'll I'll show you that little pack later we're going to do the beef stroganoff so anyway I'm going to get the fire started and uh, we'll go from there It's about got too dark to video anything, but I thought I would uh, show you our fire right now. We had it going, but it's turned into a smoldering mess because what we're using is a lot of this dead stuff that's real brittle. Um, it's almost like sawdust when you uh, kind of like crush it between your fingers. Um, the stuff will burn, but it's just getting it to burn in the first place is the hard part. Once up oh, there it goes. <laughs> It just started all of a sudden once it starts to burn it burns really good as you can see but then uh, what happens is it burns up really quick so uh, it don't give us a whole lot of coals because of it uh, we've got our smoke going out through the trees down there it's kind of neat it's kind of settling out but now that we've got some fire going get a little warmth there so anyway that's what we were waiting on but we're gonna take our food I was gonna show you that so this is the number one recommendation uh, for food when you're camping. Mountain House beef stroganoff with noodles. It says it's got two and a half servings, but it's basically one because I've never ate less than one pack of this. They've actually got, they had a one person and two person at one time. Uh, they were half this size, but I've not seen any in a long time. But they last until uh, January of 2027. Um, those were bought, I think, last year. So, uh, whatever that is, over, well, basically, it's about 10 years, I guess, they last. And uh, these here, uh, we've never ate. It's got a Best Buy date of, uh, what is it? No, actually, a, yeah, yeah, Best Buy, Best Used Buy, July of 2018. So, uh, we're going to use this tomorrow. It is granola with milk and bu uh, blueberries. So, uh, We'll try that for breakfast. We've uh, just had it for a long time and never ate it and gonna go ahead and get rid of it um, since it's getting close to being out of date. So obviously it's probably about 10 years old. And uh, so anyway, that's number one. We've also got some uh, teriyaki, uh, yeah, teriyaki rice or whatever. Um, and, or well, chicken teriyaki with rice, that's what it is. Um, and then we've got one that's, um, Mexican style rice and beans that's really good uh, but like I said our favorites the beef stroganoff so if you ever get the mountain house that's what I would recommend to go with first um, and then you can probably move to like the Mexican rice and beans and then the chicken teriyaki is probably three don't ever get lasagna that's really bad my buddy uh, threw up one night when he ate it so I wouldn't recommend that so anyway I was about to get everything together here thought I'd video before it got too dark because I forgot my light. So anyway, Rosie's still over there. Right there. So I'm gonna get out of the smoke here. Okay, so we've got this new toy, or my dad does. It's a Kelly kettle, is that right? That's right, this is our first time. Yeah, it's, um, I'll show you here. It's a little tubular, little thermos. It's got a like cylinder in the bottom here. It, it goes all the way through, it's hard to see there. Um, so what we do is we make a little fire, or you just tell them, you tell them how it works. Well, we've Taking our knife and we've scraped out some tinder here. I'm gonna put a paper towel underneath it and see if we can get a little fire going in this basin. Got a little heart pine in there that's scraped off. I don't think he went out. Oh, you still got it. So it's got a little lighter area there, a little hole. Mm -hmm. 
So what happens is, is your fire kind of burns down in that bottom. You get some embers going. You set the kettle on top of the little housing there, the where the fire is going, and then you put pieces of wood down the cylinder there, which fall right into your embers, your coals, and inside this there's a ring of water. So you fill up your water right here, and it's like a um, I don't know how you'd say maybe a napkin ring sort of 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 water with an empty cylinder there so you can get all the heat from the bottom and the inside to quickly heat everything and then you can pour out your boiling water. So we're going to see how that works. I think Got, it's not going to work well with a wet napkin is my guess. Probably not. I didn't know it was wet. So I've got my Coleman lantern here for lighting and uh, we've had this for a very long time. We only use it when we, uh, which you may not have heard anything, uh, we only use it when we come with the truck so uh, you know we're not able to carry it when we go to our uh, you know backpacking trips so it's a little different it took us a second but we've got it going um, we had to use as you can see a starter log here because um, everything's just a little bit too wet because we've had a lot of rain but now you can see the flames coming out the top I'll get high here so we've got the fire going down in the bottom and that'll really heat up quick. I mean, I couldn't even hold on to the handle here before we even got it started because it was just that heat coming out of there is just pretty intense. So now, are you supposed to do that? Yep. I guess it'll blow off if you don't. Oh well, yeah, I guess that would work too. So you just kind of feed your fire from the top there and it keeps it going. is so now the goal is to get us some hot water going and then after that we can get us some hot chocolate so I think it'll work really well Bubbling over now. There's a little smokestack. So I was going to show you what these uh, little freeze-dried or dehydrated meals, whatever they are, um, I guess dehydrated, what they look like. There's what they are. Just little noodles and just uh, seasoning, I guess, and uh, pieces of meat. So uh, what you do is you add 16 ounces of water and then stir it and then close it up just like this one is. And you let it sit like this closed up with water in it for eight to nine minutes, something like that. So that's all it is, cheesy goodness. So here's the finished product, just a little thick soup. Got the noodles and the beef, it's all real nice there. It don't look that great, but it's actually really good. So uh, that's what you get with them, about eight dollars. We was here cooking breakfast. We've got our, uh, I've got my tent packed up mostly in the inside and we've uh, come over here and made coffee and hot chocolate and I've got my biscuits going now. They're looking good. I'm keeping the aluminum foil on there so that it works like a oven and that way the heat circulates above it because otherwise it will just basically burn and it the heat escapes so you don't get the top cooked good so doing that um, just setting the pan on the coals just kind of close it's really too close probably too hot but um, we'll probably have a burnt bottom but doing that and then putting the aluminum foil over the top keeps that heat circulating so we can have a more uh, you know, plump biscuit it rises because if you don't do that you'll just have a flat biscuit we've got our eggs over here uh, in the ziplock bag here uh, six eggs I just crack them and put them in these that way you don't have to worry about the yolks or the eggshells and then we've got our Smithfield sausage and uh, again we're cooking our uh, hot chocolate and everything boiling the water in the 
Kelly kettle and uh, that's about it right now we're just waiting on the biscuits to be done and then uh, that the order that we cooks biscuits first then we'll do sausage and then the grease that's left behind we'll use for the eggs so that they don't stick so that's kind of the order and you don't want to ever eat cold eggs so we're gonna keep on cooking well we got our sausage done everything's cooked good probably burnt a little bit but I kind of like mine a little crispy um, we're fixing to start the eggs so like I said we got the eggs in the Ziploc bag here and I've got my pan sort of hot keeping it on the coals. It don't have to be very hot because these eggs will cook really fast. A little mess. But I used the grease from the patties, the sausage patties, and that cooks it pretty well. Just keep them moving. When I was working at Waffle House, they'd tell us when we'd cook our food that, when they were training us, that when you would get done cooking the eggs, they would continue to cook for like a minute and a half on the plate. So you don't want to overdo them in the pan because that residual heat will continue to cook the eggs. So if I'm losing a little heat, I'm going to add a little more. So they don't take much to cook some eggs. They look pretty nasty, but that's all that flavor from the sausage gets in there and you get nice eggs. Well, there's our breakfast. Eggs are actually a lot better than they look. Got some sausage. Our biscuits got a little burned on the bottom, but that's kind of about all you can do when you've got it too close to the flames. But uh, they're still really good on the inside. Just a little layer on the bottom that's just burnt to crisp. But anyway... That's a gourmet breakfast. Well, we're about to head out. Uh, we got the wood that we cut last night. There was a dead tree right over there. Got it all piled up so we can maybe use it next time. And our fires got put out, got water on it. And uh, you can tell that we wasn't even here. Or you can't even tell we were here. So anyway, that was a good view this morning, uh, which I don't, I think, yeah, I've made some videos down here shooting, but uh, that's what it looks like down to the creek. Just a nice little area. But anyway, we're gonna head home. I'm gonna let you go. Hope you had a good day and enjoy the video. Uh, let me know if you like these kind of videos, if you want more of them. And I will see you again, maybe tomorrow.